You're watching Statistics Made Simple and I am Savita Balsang. In this video, I'll find solutions to some more problems based on probability part 3. Problem 11. A box contains 40 white, 10 red and 8 green marbles. Two marbles are drawn at random. Find the probability that first subdivision both marbles are red, second subdivision one marble is red and the other is white or green. Now in this question I have highlighted some of the terms which are important. Starting with the solution let us first write under given the total that is 40 white plus 10 red plus 8 green which is equal to 58 marbles. Now out of these 58 marbles we have to choose 2 marbles at random. So the total number of ways in which this can be done is n is equal to 58 c2 which is equal to 1653. Starting with the first subdivision define event A as two marbles are red. Always be specific as to how many marbles we are choosing. Next write M. Now there are 10 red marbles and out of 10 red marbles you have to choose two marbles which should be red in color. So M is equal to 10 C2 which is equal to 45. Then write the formula. We know that P of A is equal to M divided by N which implies P of A is equal to 45 divided by 1653. Therefore, P of A is equal to 0 0.0272. Subdivision B. Define event B as one marble is red and the other is white or green. I have highlighted the word and and also the word or in black color and remember that whenever you have the word and and you need to find the probability it is multiplication and or means it is plus. So in the next step I have written the statement as 1 R into within brackets 1 white plus 1 green marble. So M is equal to 1 red. There are 10 red and you have to choose 1. So it is 10 C1 into 1 white. There are 40 white and you have to choose 1. So 40 C1 plus 1 green marble. There are 8 green and you have to choose 1. So it is 8 C1. Therefore M is equal to 10 into 40 plus 8 which is equal to 10 into 48 which is equal to 480. Then write the formula we know that P of B is equal to M divided by N which implies P of B is equal to 480 divided by 1653. Therefore P of B is equal to 0 0.2904. Problem 12. A box contains 5 white, 4 red and 3 green marbles. Two marbles are drawn at random from the box. Find the probability that they are of first subdivision same color, second subdivision different colors. Start with the solution right given total is 5 white plus 4 red plus 3 green which is equal to 12 marbles. Now out of these 12 marbles, two marbles are drawn at random from the box. That means the total number of combinations which we can have is n equal to 12 c2 which is equal to 66. Start with the first subdivision. Define event A as two marbles are of same color. Now what do we understand by two marbles are of same color? Either the two marbles can be white or the two marbles can be red or the two marbles can be green. That's what I have written within brackets below the event A. So M is equal to, first you do 2 white. There are 5 white and you have to choose 2. So it is 5 C2. Then or means it is plus 
two red there are four reds and you have to select two so it is four c2 again or is plus two green there are three green and you have to select two so it is three c2 therefore m is equal to 10 plus 6 plus 3 which is equal to 19 then write the probability formula we know that p of a is equal to m divided by n which implies p of a is equal to 19 divided by 66 therefore p of a is equal to 0 0.2879. Second subdivision, define event B, two marbles are of different colors. So keep in mind that two marbles are of different colors means it has to be one of each color. So in the blue highlighted box, I have first listed down the marble colors as W which is white, then R is red and G is green. Now the different possibilities of selecting two marbles which are of different colors are I can choose one white and one red which I have highlighted in green color and have used number one. The second possibility is I can choose one red and one green which I have highlighted in purple color and the third possibility is I can choose one white and one green which I have highlighted in blue color. So the different possibilities are it is one white and one red. This way I'll be choosing two marbles and both the marbles are of different colors or it will be one red and one green or the third possibility is one white and one green. Then write down M which is equal to there are five whites and you have to choose one so 5c1 and means into there are four reds and you have to choose one so 4c1 or means it is plus then do one red there are four reds choose one so 4c1 into one green there are three greens and you choose one so 3c1 again or is plus then do one white there are five white and you have to choose one so 5c1 and is into 1 green. There are 3 greens and you choose 1 so 3 C1. So you get M is equal to 5 into 4 plus 4 into 3 plus 5 into 3. Therefore M is equal to 20 plus 12 plus 15 is equal to 47. Then write the formula we know that P of B is equal to M divided by N which implies P of B is equal to 47 by 66. Therefore P of B is 0 0.7121. Problem 13. A box has 80 bulbs of which 20 are defective. Two bulbs are picked at random from the box. Find the probability that first subdivision both are defective. Second subdivision one is defective and the other is non-defective. And the third subdivision both are non-defective. Start with the solution. Write given the total number of bulbs is 80. Now out of these 80 bulbs we have to select two bulbs at random that means n is equal to 80 c2 which is equal to 3160 which is the total number of favorable outcomes. Now they have mentioned that the number of defective bulbs among those 80 bulbs is 20. So the number of non-defective bulbs will be the total bulbs minus the defective bulbs which is 80 minus 20 which is equal to 60. Start with the first subdivision define event A as two bulbs are defective. So M is equal to there are 20 defective bulbs and you have to select two. So it is 20 C2 which is equal to 190. Then write the formula we know that P of A is equal to M by N which implies P of A is 190 divided by 3160. Therefore, P of A is equal to 0 0.0601. Second subdivision, define event B as one bulb is defective and the other is non-defective. Here the word AND is highlighted and remember that the word AND is multiplication in probability. 
so m is equal to there are 20 defectives and you have to select one out of those defective bulbs so it is 20 c1 and means multiplication so into the other is non-defective there are 60 non-defectives and you have to select one so it is 60 c1 which is equal to 20 into 60 which is equal to 1200 then the formula p of b is equal to m divided by n which implies p of b is equal to 1200 divided by 3160 therefore p of b is equal to 0 0.3797 subdivision c define event c as both bulbs are non-defective m is equal to there are 60 non-defective bulbs and you have to select 2 so it is 60 c2 equal to 1770 write the formula we know that p of c is equal to m by n which implies p of c is equal to 1770 divided by 3160 therefore p of c is equal to 0 0.5601 Problem 14. A class consists of 6 girls and 10 boys. If a committee of 3 is chosen at random, find the probability that first subdivision 3 boys are selected, second subdivision exactly 2 boys are selected, third subdivision at least 1 boy is selected and fourth subdivision exactly 2 girls are selected. Now usually in the exam, a probability problem will comprise of two subdivisions for 5 marks not all four will be asked solution right given total number of students is equal to 6 girls plus 10 boys which is equal to 16 now out of these 16 students a committee of 3 is chosen that means n is equal to 16 c3 which is equal to 560 Start with the first subdivision. Define event A as 3 boys are selected. That means M is equal to, there are 10 boys and you have to select 3. So it is 10 C3 which is equal to 120. Then writing the formula for the classical definition of probability. P of A is equal to M by N which implies P of A is 120 by 560. So you get P of A is equal to 0 0.2143. Second subdivision, define event B as exactly two boys are selected. So now note that the committee should have three students. That means among those three students, two should be boys. That means the other student should be a girl. So it is two boys and one girl. So we get M is equal to there are 10 boys and you have to select 2 boys so it is 10 c2 and means into there are 6 girls and you have to choose only 1 girl so it is 6 c1 which is 45 into 6 is equal to 270 then write the formula we know that p of b is equal to m divided by n which implies p of b is 270 divided by 560 therefore p of b is equal to 0 0.4821 Third subdivision, define event C as at least one boy is selected. Now, at least one means it is one or more. So, remember that the committee should have three students in which there should be one or more boys. Okay. Now, because there are three students in the committee, the possibilities are as given in the box which is highlighted in red color within brackets so the first possibility is you can have one boy and the other two students are girls or you can have two boys and the third student is a girl or the last probability is all the three students are boys so at least one boy means it is either one boy or two boys or three boys because the committee should have only three students so in other words it is one boy and two girls or two boys and one girl or three boys so m is equal to one boy 
and two girls. Let's do that part first. So there are 10 boys and you have to select one. So 10 C1 and means into there are 6 girls and you have to choose 2. So it is 6 C2 or is plus. Next is 2 boys and 1 girl. So there are 10 boys and you select 2. So it is 10 C2 and is into 1 girl. There are 6 girls and you select 1. So 6 C1. Again or means it is plus. 3 boys. There are 10 boys and you select 3 boys. So it is 10 C3. So in other words you get M is equal to 10 into 15 plus 45 into 6 plus 120. Therefore M is equal to 150 plus 270 plus 120 which is equal to 540. Substituting in the probability formula P of C equal to M by N we get P of C is equal to 540 by 560. Therefore, P of C is equal to 0 0.9643. Subdivision D. Define event D as exactly two girls are selected. Committee should have three students. So, two girls and the other student should be a boy. Okay, so it is two girls and one boy. And the word and means it is multiplication. So, M is equal to, there are six girls and you have to choose two. So, it is six C2 and is into and one boy there are 10 boys and you select one so it is 10 c1 which is equal to 15 into 10 equal to 150 then right we know that p of d is equal to m by n which implies p of d is equal to 150 divided by 560 therefore p of d is equal to 0 0.2679 There is no shortcut to statistics. Practice is the only solution to mastering statistical concepts. So, understand the concepts well under probability. Practice the problems many times. Thank you all for watching and look out for my next video where I'll introduce playing cards and I'll find solutions to problems based on probability on playing cards.